and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing The Inside of Out by Jen Marie Thorne, and this is a contemporary young adult novel that focuses on Daisy, who is an ally, when her best friend Hannah comes out of being gay. Um, so Hannah and Daisy have been best friends for like the last two years, ever since Hannah moved to their school, um, and just they've done everything together, and... Hannah is really Daisy's only friend, so they are super close. And when Hannah finally comes out as being gay, Daisy is so excited about this. And she's like, all right, I get to show you how supportive I am. I'm going to be the best ally ever. And I'm going to, like, help you fight for your rights and everything. And Hannah's kind of like, uh, I just, I just wanted to tell you that I was, that I've got a girlfriend. And I don't, I don't really need a crusade. I'm, I'm fine. I just, I don't want to be normal. So Daisy is just bounding with energy and excitement and how supportive she's going to be to Hannah and is just over the moon about it. And she's got this plan about how they're going to join the Gay Alliance. And when Daisy finds out that the school doesn't allow uh, same-sex dates at the school dances, Daisy is the first one to lead that charge to get that rule changed. Um, and she comes up with this plan and she lines out everything. So when Daisy goes to present it to the school board, they're kind of like, Mm, that's not a thing we're gonna do. No, actually, we're gonna cancel the dance altogether. Um, and then Daisy's like, what? And so right off the top of her head, she decides that she's going to plan their own homecoming dance and homecoming for anybody at the school, regardless of sexual orientation or who they want to bring as a date. Um, and so this becomes this giant thing in the book is planning this dance and also trying to convince the school board that they're wrong so that they can have normal school dances in the future where people can bring whatever date they'd like. <laughs> um, so Daisy attracts the attention of Adam, who is a college reporter who was sitting at the board school board meeting, and he writes an article about Daisy's cause, and it goes completely viral on the internet like tons and tons of shares and likes on Facebook and it just gets completely you know out of hand and it goes national and in the article Adam doesn't mention that Daisy's straight in fact it kind of sounds like she's gay and so the entire country assumes that Daisy is gay and she becomes gay teen activist and like the poster girl for this whole movement and fight they're having at the school. At the same time that they're getting all the support from like outside people and like, whoa, this rule is crazy. There's also a lot of protesters who show up and make it known that, hey, they agree with the school and it's not okay to be gay. So a lot of hate also in this book. Another part of the story is also Hannah and Daisy's relationship as H Hannah starts dating. Hannah falls for one of the popular girls at school, Natalie one of the mean girls and actually Natalie is pretty responsible for making Daisy's life miserable at middle school and they've not forgotten that. So while Hannah's trying to make her girlfriend and best friend hang out and get along, the two of them are kind of like not having it. So part of this book is also just like growing up and what happens when one of you matures faster than the other or one of you gets a date when the other one doesn't. Um, and the relationship problems that can happen from that. This book also explores and explains a large range of the LGBTQIA spectrum, um, which is awesome. We do get to meet some of the other members of the Gay Alliance and see where they're coming from and their backstories, which I loved. Um, it also introdu it introduced to me the concept of the quilt bag acronym, which I hadn't heard before, which I think is questioning unidentified intersex, lesbian, transgendered, uh, bisexual, asexual, and gay. So I hadn't heard that one before and I like it better because it's a lot easier to say quilt bag than to go through LGBTQIA or abbreviate it to LGBT, which doesn't encompass everything. On the whole, I gave this book three stars, mainly because Daisy can sometimes get really crazy and out there and she just, she's one of those characters that just like, leaps without thinking and some of them are just like oh my gosh why why did you do that why are you talking just stop talking um she's good intention like daisy is a well-intentioned character and she's pretty likable she's just slightly greening at times 
Um, so that's why I gave it three stars. I still really enjoyed this book. It's a lot of fun and it's definitely a comedy. There's my review for The Inside of Out by Jen Marie Thorne. Check it out if you guys want to. And yeah, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.